Hello there! So today we will discuss about the new LiDAR sensors found in the latest Apple devices and how can we use uh, them to import real-life objects to our scenes in Unreal Engine. As you can see here, I have a scene that I want to render using a sequencer setup. So the idea is to use my iPad Pro with LiDAR sensor to scan some kitchen furniture and import it uh, into this scene. I will place the furniture at this wall and after that I will render again the scene and uh, you will be able to see the final results at the end. That's just in theory. Let's start to see how you can do it too. Now, go to the Apple App Store, search for 3D Scanner and get the app. This is what you see when you open the app. Just press record button and you will have to scan the object that you want to transfer into 3D. So you will see me in this, in this video how am I doing it. So you will have to cover from all the angles the furniture or the object you are going to scan. It's very fast. I would recommend to scan the object in good lighting, not as I did it in here. You see the lighting is very bad and also the space is, I don't know, it's, it's not enough space to go around or something. But still, it's just for a tutorial. After you are done with the scanning, you will press colorize and that's it. This is the result. Okay, I've done it in like under one minute or something like that. Uh, you have now the 3D model in your iPad, but we want to transfer it to some um, format that we can edit. I will transfer it to OBJ file, okay, using uh, my Dropbox. So you can do it also in this way. Now, what you want to do is to go to your PC or your laptop and open the file that you sent from your iPad or iPhone in some 3D program. I am using now 3ds Max and I'm deleting some uh, unnecessary polygons. I'm just cleaning the model. It's very simple. You can find uh, some free programs like Blender or uh, just, just Google 3D editing software and you will find a dozen of free software to do this. So after this, after I clean the model, I will just export it in FBX format. Now we go back to Unreal Engine, where we will import our, our 3D model. So we'll go to our folder where we save the FBX file and you just have to select, drag and drop in Unreal Engine. Okay, that's it. By doing this, now Arial will, will uh, import the texture, the 3D model and uh, everything else. The file is quite big, so you, you will have to wait uh, a little bit. Here you will just hit import all, as you can see in uh, my settings. And again, you will have to wait for the model to be imported. Okay, the model is imported. Now let's just open the model. As you can see, okay, the texture are already applied to the model and because of the lightings and everything, uh, LiDAR is struggling with shiny surfaces, especially glass. As you will see now, if we zoom in uh, to the microwave, okay, there, some missing polygons and also the oven uh, glass. But considering the lighting and the settings that I've done this, I think it's, uh, it's acceptable. Okay, let's go back and let's drop this 3D object in our scene. Now, just take the object, drag it in the scene and arrange it as you want. As you can see, you will scale it a little bit up, down, rotate it or whatever it's needed.
after this I will be build the lightning and we will render the video, the final results after this. Now, the light, light building is done. Okay, let's take a look, a closer look to at our model. As you can see, as I told you, the sensors are still uh, struggling with shiny surfaces. But I think in uh, some 3D program you can you can repair those patches. And in any case, I think this would be uh, great for a block out at this moment. Also, I think in uh, better lighting, the results can be much, much, much better. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, your subscribe would be much appreciated. Next, enjoy the final render. See you. Goodbye.